Hello everybody, it's Marcia from Kansas Misfit. And today I want to talk to you about um, sprouting. Sprouting seeds. Um, like, for instance, broccoli seeds. And when you, when you sprout them, you can use them in soups and salads and sandwiches. And, and you can eat them, eat them by themselves. You know, just take a pinch and chew on it. They're very healthy for you. They've got lots of vitamins. Let me see what it says on the container here. Broccoli seeds for sprouting. Broccoli is one of the healthiest vegetables around due to, to natural, naturally occurring sulforaphane, glucosinolate. <laughs> I might have pronounced that wrong, but I tried. Did you know that broccoli sprouts naturally have about 50 times more sulforaphane potential than broccoli florets? Stool, stool, store <laughs> in a cool, dry place after opening. But, um, it says, su suggested use. Soak one-fourth of cup of seeds overnight in room temperature water. Drain and put in the sprouting jar or other sprouting unit and follow directions from, from, that, from that unit. Store in a dark environment for several days. One, on about the fourth day, place it in direct sunlight to develop your chlorophyll in the sprouts and rinse and drain daily until the sprouts are ready about three to five days add one teaspoon uh, of now real food citric acid powder per pint of rinsing water to reduce mold formation easy enjoy uh, broccoli seeds alone or as part of a salad like I said, you can put it in your sandwiches, you can put it in your soups, you can put it on top of your eggs, anything you want to do. You add, just add nutrition to your meal. It's very good. Chewy, too. For, for proper instructions on how to clean and handle the sprouts, please check out the website link, and I'll leave that in the descriptions. It says at www dot nonfoods dot com slash seven two one five eat what you love and love what you eat um that's not the only sprouts you can grow I have alfalfa sprouts and I have some mixed up sprouts as well but I'm going to start out with the broccoli sprouts and here's what the sprouting jar looks like it has a lid with holes in it to strain so you can also put lightning bugs in here for, in the summertime have your kids collect lightning bugs or whatever and they can hear and they won't suffocate because there's a holes in the top just fill it up set it out there and let them put their little lights out you know a little fun little activity for kiddos anyway this is the sprouting jar and you know I'll, I'll have to take and fill it with my um water because it said how much water what was it one fourth of the seeds one fourth cup of seeds overnight in room temperature water. I'll just fill it up with warm with warm water and um add one fourth cup of the seeds and let it sit there overnight and then I'll put it in a dark place for a few days and then set it in the window. And that's not all these here jars are good for. I had some leftover green tomatoes. Like I said, I had a whole lot of tomatoes in my garden this year. And I've stuck those jars in here when we came to this house, and some of them are turning red. And I don't have to lay them out on the counter. They're inside the jar. So that's one thing I wanted to share with you. There's many uses for these, uh, what do you call them, jars for, for making sprouts, sprouting jars. You can, do, you can do sprouts, you can do lightning bugs, you can do uh, making your tomatoes turn red. I'm sure there's other things that you can do as well. But I kind of like that. So I just wanted to share that with you.
So that way you could have ideas you can do uh, your if you get sprouting jars. Let me see the other two sprouts. Uh, hopefully this phone don't fall. Well, I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay you down. So I'm having my phone charge while I'm doing this video because it's only 30 seconds. And I don't want it to die because it goes pretty fast because I'm uploading at the same time. But let me lay you down just for a second while I go get my other sprouts so I can share with you a little bit about them. I'll be right back. As you can see, we still need to put in our ceiling. We got some ceiling wood to or some what do you call it? It's pine wood and you um overlap it. I forgot what it's called. Let me think. What's it called? No. Anyway. I can't remember what it's called. My mind just went. But anyway, you, you lay it down and there's a little ridge that, that you lay another piece of bit, uh, wood on. And then you take and tack it down onto the beams. Or not beams, but the, where you have in between the insulation. And then you hack them, tack them down. I can't remember what it's called. Tongue and Groove. There we go. Thank you for reminding me, Lord. So, anyway, uh, I got my other sprouts. This other one is alfalfa sprouts. That's really popular. A lot of people know about alfalfa sprouts, so I won't mention anything too much about it. It just says 100% seed produced and packaged in the United States and it's non-GMO. But the one I like that smells good as it's growing is the Zesty Sprouting Mix. And it's grown in the United States as well. It says clover is one of the uh, seeds. And then there's fenugreek, fenugreek and radish seeds. Let's see if you can make it out. F-E-N-F-E-N-U-G-R-E-E-K. -E 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 anyway, these are really good. And I uh, just put, you only need two tablespoons of these uh, in your jar. Soak it and then keep them, you know, I put them in the window and let the sun do the thing. We got to drain them and rinse them every day. Uh, just fill it with water, swish it around a little bit. If they're starting to sprout, don't, don't jerk the jar around too much because you might break the sprouts and they won't grow anymore. So just gently rinse them and then drain the water out off that. You don't have to remove the lid or nothing until you're ready to take the sprouts out and eat them. But that's what I'm going to be doing for extra green uh, things during the winter time. And I'm going to try to get my greenhouse finished, uh, filled up with dirt with all my tu lick tubs out there. And plant some more brassicas. I wish I can plant some lettuce and spinach and kale, but that's okay. I'll just do the cauliflower and the broccoli and the cabbage. Anyway, I will let you guys go for today. I hope you enjoyed ways of using your sprouting jars. And uh, talk to you on the next one. Have a good day. Ta-ta.